Hey, what's going on everybody? Before we get into this video, I want to apologize up front. I'm going to talk a lot in this video today, but it's a very interesting topic and you may actually learn something. So let's get into this. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In the last month, we have put out a couple of videos talking about our new moon jellyfish aquarium. We went through the setup process, stocking it with moon jellyfish, and even feeding them live food for the first time. But one of them has something special about it. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move is on the page. Today we're going to talk all about this specific jellyfish, what's going on with it, and what is so crazy that's happening in this tank today. So, with that, make sure you visit the first link in the description and check out freshwaterscrub.com for all of your aquatic plant needs and use the code jellyfish for 10% off. With that, let's get into this video today. Okay, so we just went back and we looked at all of the stuff that we've done with these jellyfish up to this point. We put the tank together, we ordered them, we got them fed, all kinds of things, right? Well, in one of those videos, I talked about something that is crazy about these moon jellyfish. A really cool fact about moon jellyfish that was actually recently discovered is they do not regenerate their appendages like other invertebrates. Something that was just discovered five, six years ago. Yes, discoveries happening five, six years ago on a creature that has been around for 500 million years and such a simplistic creature at that, right? A jellyfish. And we're just now figuring these things out. Well, the crazy thing is, is something has happened in this tank that was not documented in that discovery. And I wanna show you that today because this is, this is absolutely crazy. I think what we need to do is we need to just go over and take a look at these guys real quick and we'll get in to what's going on in this tank in just a minute. Let's go over here and, and look at these. I mean, these guys are absolutely amazing little creatures. Such cool little creatures. Now we have more than just jellyfish in here, actually. We have jellyfish. We have a couple of blue-legged hermit crabs down in the bottom. Now where I got these blue-legged hermit crabs, interestingly enough, well, they gave me some extra shells in case these blue-legged hermit crabs wanted to relocate into a new home. Well, inside of one of these shells, actually, which is, I believe, believe it's this one right here lives a nasarius snail i'm not really sure what to do with said nasarius snail what i'd like to know from you guys is i've read about them and they're going to eat all of the debris and things like that but do you think it's safe to keep that nasarius snail in here or should i find it a new home so make sure you comment below and let me know what we should do with the nasarius snail you'll get to see that nasarius snail here soon when we do a feeding in this tank because he will come out and actually start eating there's something crazy going on in this tank and that's what we're going to talk about before we do i want to break down a little bit of the science behind these moon jellyfish because these things are actually a pretty simplistic creature well actually that's not true these things are actually a pretty complex creature and why i think that they're pretty complex is as well do you see the movement please tell me that i can't that i won't that i fail that i'll never make it out yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts. And just the, oh, it, it's just so graceful. It's such a, an amazing creature. These things lack the absolute basic fundamental organs that are needed for life. They don't have a brain. They don't have a heart. They have no lungs. They have nothing. So that's why they're so complex. Like, how are they even living? You have no brain, which means you have no central nervous system. How do they move? They have no blood, so they don't need a heart. And if they have no lungs or gills, how are they breathing? Well, that's pretty complex if you ask me. Their disparate and dispersed nervous systems actually send signals to release chemical signals to allow their bodies to move, which is different than the human body, as an example. We, we actually send electrical signals to muscles to allow them to move, whereas a jellyfish sends chemical signals to the muscles to allow them to move. But, super complex creature to be so basic. The fact that they're swimming, eating, pooping, but don't breathe, can't see, have no idea where they're at, they have no concept, right? And I'm assuming 500 million years ago when they were uh, put on the earth, they were literally put on the earth just simply for sea turtle food. I mean, sea turtles absolutely love to eat jellyfish. I 
I, my mind is blown on what's going on in this tank today. And with that, what I want to do is go ahead and feed these jellyfish again and just kind of show you in a time lapse how they just sit and filter the water. So let's get into that. Hey, I got something, something to say. I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain. I know it's tough and I know there's pain. So they have finished eating. I want to roll back for just a second when we first put this tank together and talk about one of these jellyfish specifically. And that jellyfish is this one right here. This is a little tiny jellyfish. And when I got it, this little guy right here had no oral appendages. And I was really starting to worry about it because it's much smaller than the other two. And every time I would feed, he would never have food in its stomach. Yes, you can actually see the food in the jellyfish's stomach. So I started to worry, but then, all of a sudden, this most amazing thing happened. I had to go research more because I read article after article about the fact that jellyfish do not regrow appendages, that they actually will move the remaining appendages around to keep themselves symmetrical. What these articles and these studies did not talk about is what happens if they lose all of their appendages. So an assumption was made in my last video about this jellyfish and the fact that he had lost his oral appendages, I talked about it and in fact you can see right here I said, but he will never regrow those back, he will always just be a bell floating around. Well, I have to say I was wrong. And honestly the research should be updated because it doesn't say anything about it in the research, but look what we have right here. This is amazing guys absolutely amazing and maybe we've made a scientific discovery right here on the Christopher Scott YouTube channel I don't know but I do have emails out to some marine biologists who specialize in these particular jellyfish to find out let's take a look at this little guy so right here we have this little guy right here and I like to refer to him as Lieutenant Diane well, you ain't got no legs Lieutenant Diane do you see this this is the little guy I'm talking about and what is so special so looking up at this guy here, this is one of the bigger ones. If you, if you notice, these three little items hanging off of him, and then there's the fourth right there, those are the oral appendages that I'm referencing. And if you look at the smaller one, where did he go? He's gone. He left. He's like, stop looking at me. I don't want you to talk about me anymore. You've been talking about me for days. There he is. Look, I'm just kidding. He didn't think that for real because he doesn't have a brain. And here he comes. If you notice right there, he is re- growing his oral appendages. He now has four brand new little legs growing on the underside of his bell. And why is this so astonishing? And why is it so important? Because he's gonna look like this again, just like that, which is amazing. And the other reason it's so astonishing is because like I said, there's no reference in all of the documentation and studies that I've read about moon jellyfish and their ability to rearrange their oral appendages to stay symmetrical. Not a single thing that talks about one that's lost all their legs and what happens at that point. Well, I can tell you right now, what happens is, is they start regrowing all four legs again. Now, I am not a research scientist, so I may have missed it in documentation or something like that. If you guys happen to know where it's documented what happens, please let me know in the comments but for right now what I know is that this moon jellyfish has regrown all four of its legs when all I can find is is that they don't regrow their legs they actually rearrange them to stay symmetrical and now we know that's not accurate that's not hundred percent accurate they will in fact regrow their legs <laughs> all right guys well hopefully you went on to enjoy this video today hopefully you learned something that's the biggest thing I've learned a lot I had no idea the stuff about jellyfish that I know now and I love to learn and hopefully you do as well with that I really appreciate the support guys thank you so very much for all the people that come around and comment and like and subscribe and all those kinds of things if you haven't visited freshwaterscrub.com make sure you do if you need any freshwater aquatic plants you can find those there you can use the code jellyfish for 10% off all of your orders make sure you follow us on Facebook Instagram links to both are in the description below I really am truly grateful thank you so very much and we will see you next time.